Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today's lesson is all about catapulting your speed, your power into the right part of your golf swing. So today we're gonna to be talking about loading, storing and dumping. And in effect, the dumping element is the catapult element. So we're trying to build up the power and let it go, be free at the right part of the golf swing to maximize your potential energy into the golf ball to give you the best possible outcome. This will give you crazy results. If we load up correctly, we will get the benefits on the way down and through impact. If you are new to the channel, please consider following. I post three videos a week on a variety of subjects, all designed to help lower your scores and hopefully make you enjoy your golf a little bit more too. So keep watching to learn about this amazing catapult effect in the golf swing. So in the golf swing, we get a lot of what I would class as freebies. We also get a lot of what I would call as negative freebies. So we get a lot of positive stuff and a lot of regression. So if we take the club back in certain places, we have a knock on effect, a consequence to that, which sometimes is positive and sometimes is negative. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how we can load the golf swing correctly, store that energy correctly, and then catapult those arms through impact into the post impact position to really maximize your potential power, but also it'll help with your ball striking as well. So I wanna walk you through a couple of simple things you can do to help this happen more consistently. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is take an alignment rod. And what I want you to do with this alignment rod is slide it down the side of the shaft, alongside the grip, and have it hanging out the end of the handle. So just like this. What we're gonna to look to do with this is use this as a bit of a visual to show how we load if you want the potential energy in the golf swing. So at address, this will feel a bit strange because this is gonna sit alongside my hip. That is not normal. This is gonna make our hands sit more forward than they want to at address. I'm not too worried about that. That's not really why we're doing this in this instant. What I want you to feel in this is as we get back to about this left arm parallel position, I want you to get this blue rod in this case or any color rod pointing down towards the golf ball. This will give me more what I would class as radial deviation in the wrist or wrist cock in the wrist. If I took it back in a stiffer fashion, you'll see this blue rod does not point down towards the golf ball. So ideally it wants to go across my body and then down towards the golf ball. Then as I work to the top of the golf swing, I'd want it to point in a direction behind the golf ball, roughly on the target line. I'd be okay depending on what you're working on if it was just below the target line or just above the target line, that kind of area. But to be on the target line would be what we would refer to as being on plane. So we're loading, we're keeping, and then ideally on the way down, we are storing. So this now blue rod is pointing parallel to our ball to target line, as near as damn it. It certainly isn't wasting the energy too early, which again, the rod would want to hit us. So we're storing. Now, how we store that energy is by ideally using our body, letting our arms fall with gravity, turning our body, getting a little bit of that separation of those knees, that little bit of recentering and squatting, and then keeping that energy here. And then we're gonna to look to explode it. So then from there, we will throw the arms out wide. And importantly, the concept I want you to have in that time is that you're moving your chest at target, you're throwing your arms at target and not at the golf ball. It's too many people are too focused on the golf ball. I want you to have your energy forward of the golf ball as far forward and round the swing as you possibly can to maintain this energy into the golf ball to the last split second. Naturally, there's a sense of releasing these hands and getting into this inline condition. That happens naturally. The forces on the club that are acting, they're gonna make you want to do this again without you trying. So we don't need to worry about over storing the club really. Most people understore the club. What I mean by that is they will flap, they will cast. This is what I would see in my lesson tee all the day long. What we wanna do is practice the store and the catapult, the throw. 
those are the two real ways of making a difference. They affect the ball flight straight away. Obviously, if we don't load nothing in the backswing, whether you're a late loader or an early loader, then you'll have nothing to work with on the way down. So we need to make sure we load. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is take an alignment rod, make some swings in the garden or at the practice area, trying to feel that you get in this club to point down, kind of just outside your foot, your trail foot at worst, storing it, keeping it, exploding. Then if we want to, we'd actually go and hit some balls doing that. And again, it's going to be difficult to make great contact, don't get me wrong, unless you're really skilled. So let's have a go when it's, it's a difficult drill. Let's see again, it's not too comfortable on the fingers either. Let's pull it up a little bit more. So load to the top, bring it down. Just nudged my rib cage on the way through, but definitely felt spacey. It felt like my body was working quite hard. Pretty pleased with the shot, if I'm honest. So what you can do is you can hit a number of reps with that to get the feelings. Once we have the feelings, let's try a normal shot. And ideally put a rehearsal in first. So the catapult part is really just letting everything throw itself towards target, not at the ball, at target. Drive at target. Have that as your commitment on the golf course and it will make you play better for sure. All right, let's try a ball now. Take a setup. Load. Store. Catapult. I'll try that in the normal golf swing. Oh, second shot of the day, that one a bit stiff. Let's do one more. Rehearsal. Load to the top, store. That's much better. Much, much better. My old bones need a little bit of warming up these days. So, the whole premises video is all about giving yourself potential energy, storing the energy, and then allowing yourself to catapult, lose, or dump the energy in the right part of the swing. Just like if you went to throw a ball, you know, your arm would wind up, your body winds up, your body unwinds, you're storing that arm in that bent position, then you're throwing that arm. It's a pretty natural instinct when it comes to throwing. So we're looking for you to do the same with the golf club. If we get the club in a really poor position in the backswing, we have no opportunity of doing this correctly because we'll be reacting to that. So if the club is too narrow on the way back, we have no turn, the club face is really open, we have to throw that club earlier to make a match up to get the ball to go where we want it to go. So it's important we try and prepare from a setup into the backswing correctly to allow ourselves to be able to throw those arms correctly and release the club correctly to the target to give you the best possible results. So I hope you've enjoyed today's take on kind of catapulting the energy and the power in the right place to give you the best possible outcomes, to really give you the best possible golf shots, but also give you the best possible power. If you have, please click like and share the video. That really, really helps the algorithms. It really helps my channel which means I can continue to put some contact out there to help you guys. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, post them down below. I welcome all of those. because I really want to make the channel about what you want to see, what you want to hear, so it'll help you, most importantly. And secondly, it'll make my channel do better. Lastly, if you haven't already followed or subscribed, hit my logo down this bottom corner. Join me on my journey. Let me help you improve your golf. Let me help you understand your golf, hopefully, a bit more. And let me help you play better. So thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you again here very soon.